quite a big bag there in the front. Uh, hi guys, it's Akamelia back with Global Fruit Gems and welcome to another MUKBANG video. I don't want to even try to that bit. Now, I promised back at New Year's that I always come up with new categories. My time in Dubai was fun. I was there for roughly a week and a day, so roughly eight days. But it was fun on all all. Um, there wasn't that many items I brought back because they didn't have, I mean, they had a decent few amount of American items, which I will load in future videos later this year. But as you can see, I still need to bring more than just Cheesecake Factory or just more than that Italian co Coca-Cola. Well, just Italian Coke, not Italian Coca-Cola. But it was fun while it lasted in Dubai for eight days. So I've got a zero. I have got, this one was actually one of my hardest ones to find for me. Energy, of course, the original. And I have got the old fashioned Dr. Pepper made with sugar here. Can wasn't, um, I had to wash off the can a bit when it turned up in the mail. Um, the weather lately um, has been a little bit dirty, a little bit wet in the UK, but I do my best. I've also got, also hard to find, the Dr. Pepper Jelly Bellies, as well as Dr. Pepper Cotton Candy. So, hard to find, hard to see, but if you uh, squint your eyes, guys, you can see they're just uh, more Dr. Pepperish colour right there. Yeah. Very dark, like, kind of like licorice flavour. So, as always, I'm going to try these snacks one by one, see which one's the best, and then uh, announce them whether at the end what I recommend to you guys. Now, not like the Starbucks MUKBANG videos where I separate them from edible snacks to drinks. I'm just going to have one word today because it's all Dr. Pepper. And there's only six snacks here. So, let's pop these open. That's what Dr. Pepper. So, jelly beans. They still taste a little bit like licorice. Of course, the darker jelly beans always do. Chewy shell, chewy and gooey inside, as always. I don't know what bellies are like anyway. But as I've said plenty of times, um. I've mentioned, I've not done a Dr. Pepper review for a long time, but they always put like 20 things. It's got like allspice in Dr. Pepper. It's got, I assume, a bit of vanilla. I've heard there's some blackberry in there. There's some nutmeg in there. So no wonder they call it Dr. Pepper. They put all these uh, herbs and spices in Dr. Pepper. Mmm. I like that. Nice shape, but it's more shaped like a little bit of Fanta bottle with a curse. Hmm. I mean, I know they're both from Coca-Cola, but I'm not sure about the shape of the bottle. If it was maybe more like shaped like the Coca-Cola ones or the US Fanta bottles instead of the European curvy ones. Yeah. Now let's try the old fashioned. Let's take it back to where it all started. If this one's better than the old-fashioned, I know Joel Pitt tried this one on his channel. Um, it's a little bit of kind of a mystery flavor because um, it's not exactly identical to the original red one, but let's give it a go. There we go. All right, this one tastes more like a candy kind of dessert compared to the peppery kind of fieriness in this one. There's not really much that going on compared to this. I mean, it's less peppery and fiery, but it's more like a kind of like a candy dessert kind of thing. But maybe I would expect that given the, uh, the very, the much color. I mean, it's got a bit of a green kind of tannish yeah, I think I'll just say it's light green. It looks like green. The old fashioned red logo, that's the original logo right there. The um, the little circles here, 10 to 2 to 4. Made with sugar, the old ones say that. 
I know there's an older can than this, um, Dr. Pepper Heritage, that came out in the early 2000s. If you've ever find that can, you guys might have heard of it. Um, it's one of the originals. It's the one of the originals before this one, so if I find it, I'll definitely include it in a sequel. And right here, it's got some yellowy, orange, and red stripes. Yeah. Interesting design, that. All right, now I'm gonna try this one, then I'm gonna move to the energy drink. See what comes back. <clears throat> same old, same old. Better than the UK one, it's more pure, more bold, more authentic. I've never had the one in Japan, the original one in Japan. I'll have to get around to that, but compared to the UK one, compared to the, um, the Europe, the more worldwide European one, which is in that 330 milliliter can, this one's more original. And of course, um, the design's a lot better. It's more like... Um, I don't know, is it like metallic or chrome? It's actually, I mean, I know it's a bit plainish, the design of this can, but I like the fact that it's got like a kind of like a chromish red design. Uh, or is that like light red? No, no, that's, it's more like red, dark red. I wouldn't mind like a maroon like style can. Like a really, um, not like burgundy red, um, like a really dark red maroon kind of color. If there is a Dr. Pepper can that's like more maroonish, I'd like that a lot. As dark as these ones, these jelly jellies. Okay, now, energy. I've never had this one before. It was very difficult for me to find this drink. I did find one or two wholesalers on eBay who did have this. I didn't get that many. I only got like um, three of them. Um, I had, so what I did was I got two... Um, I got one in retail, and then I got two free more online, so... Well, just four. And then I stopped searching, because it was so, it kept wasting time and had to move on. Uh, I didn't understand the concept of this Dr Pepper Energy, but I'm not enjoying it as much. Nah. The Coca-Cola Energy that I tried a while back with um, with Nathan Bedwood. I did try it with Alex as well in my spare time. Uh, high caffeine content, which is good, like if you need some caffeine before you go to work or something. Or if you want an energy drink before you work out. But it does say here, high caffeine content, and it says right there, it says, yeah, not suitable for children or pregnant women or breastfeeding women. Yeah, this has got a very, I could taste it when I first, when I took the sip of it, it's got a very high caffeine content. So for my younger viewers, um, it tasted, to be honest with you guys, it tasted quite stronger than the, the Red Bull one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're, I, I'm not enjoying this one as much, but if you guys are into it, like, if you prefer, like, Red Bull, that's fair, it's not really kind of working out for me. It's a clever idea. I wouldn't doubt it if one of you guys out there like it, but, uh, yeah, this one's not going to be a winner for today. It's down to these three at the moment. Zero. Now, a lot of my, uh, uh, followers and viewers have had this one before, so. Hmm. Nah, nothing new to me, just same old, same old. Just the, uh, the original, but uh, calories wise, but just fewer less calories. No. 
Nothing really much to say to that. It's a better alternative. I've never had to diet Dr. Pepper, and that is also one of the most, believe it or not, one of the most difficult ones to also find in my collection. The diet Dr. Pepper. I will try my best to find that one in future as well, as well as the the can before this one, Dr. Pepper Heritage. And finally, maybe not least, the Dr. Pepper Cotton Candy. So, there it is right there. Very lovely. I mean, it's both pinkish and reddish uh, right here. And it's not like light pink, like when you go to like a carnival or a theme park or something. Uh, fun fair, whether you guys, um, or if you go to the movie theatres or the circus. Not pink, not like light pink, just more um, a darker shade of pink and a bit of red in there, so. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually really good. The pepperiness of the Dr. Pepper has definitely kicked in. There's some spice. It's still got a candy kick to it, which I like a lot. It's got like a very dark fruit kind of thing going on with this. Mm. It's actually a really good attempt this. It actually tastes like Dr. Pebble in a cotton candy style. Mm. I don't have candy. Don't have this thing often, but I've got to wash my hands. It's all stuck to my nails here. Now, sorry about that, guys. Now, it is a bit of a uh, a sticky situation. Um, the reddish. Now I said it's both pink and red because when you have it, the red, there's like red bits that stick to your. It's still actually really really nice. Apart from the disadvantage, I just had to go to the tap and wash off these little red bits off a uh, fingertip. It's still fun to have. I wouldn't mind buying this actually for um, to go to the movies. But with all those snacks try now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rank them last place to first place. And first, obviously, going to be the winner of this video. So last, I'm going to do... Yeah, sorry, guys. I've not enjoyed this one today. And disadvantage might be for you guys. Not recommended for children, breastfeeding women or pregnant women. And um, high in caffeine. Um, and I don't believe that it really goes good with the uh, Dr. Pepper kind of thing going on. So I'm going to put that sixth place. I'm going to put this one fifth place. And I'm going to put um, fourth place, the original. Um, it's not nothing. It's it's nothing new to me. It's just same old, same old. Um, of course, and it's not exactly identical to the UK one or the European one or the one in Japan. I wouldn't assume, it, I, obviously it's not going to be identical to the one in Japan because the one in Japan will probably have a different kind of spin on it. And of course, the ingredients there are a lot different compared to snacks in the UK or the US, obviously. Or just different compared to other countries in general. Yeah. Um, I like the kind of dessert kind of spin on this. Like a nice candy kind of dessert spin on this. That's got a more like dark fruitish kind of thing going on. And so does this in a sense. So that one fourth, now I just gotta find one third. 
And third, uh, I'm gonna put the jelly bellies. Now, just between these two. So, I love the cans. I love the edible snacks. Um, I wouldn't mind, actually, for the best of both, I wouldn't mind putting this in a float. So, like, say if I got two scoops of plain ice cream or two scoops of vanilla ice cream, um, or just if I got two scoops of ice cream in general, despite whatever flavour, put it in a large glass and then pour this over it to have as a, a soft drink float to go to the movies, to go... Uh, for a picnic, for a day out, or if I'm just sitting around at home streaming TV in my spare time after a long day of work. I wouldn't mind that at all. And the cotton candy one's nice, apart from the disadvantage that if you worry about the uh, the reddish bits getting caught in your nails and then you've got to spend ages. So with that said, I'm going to put this one second. And I see... Um, I believe that more of my uh, fans out there, my fans out there, my viewers, my followers will enjoy this one more. Dr Pepper, made with sugar. It's basically an old fashioned one, but they have got that other old fashioned one, like I said before, Dr Pepper Heritage. Just basically the one before this. That was one of the first ever. And people, some people believe, um, according to social media, some people believe that it's better than this one. I wouldn't doubt it. So you know. But as always, if you guys disagree, if you think the original's better, the cotton candy, the jelly bellies, or any snack in the Dr. Pepper collection out there, do comment down below or text me on social media. I'll leave my username down below in the description box. If you want to see a sequel or alternatives video, um, which will include the Diet Dr. Pepper, the Dr. Pepper from Japan, um, if maybe... I know there's like a Dr. Pepper unicorn and there's a Dr. Pepper chocolate flavour. There's... The birthday cake one. I think there's one that says like Dr. Pepper 10, where it's got like 10 calorie Dr. Pepper, 10, 20, 30, I've seen. You guys might know what I'm talking about. It's like, it says like Dr. Pepper, just like a rough number, like 10, 20, 30 underneath the title, where it's got like just 10, 20, 30 calories in it. And so there's a unicorn, there's a birthday cake one, there's a chocolate one. Um, Ah, there's a berries and cream soda one, and there's a cherry chocolate one, but those two last flavors that I just mentioned, they're very old. I wouldn't doubt it if I still found them online on social media to buy. So if you want to see a sequel to this video, yeah, give us a like as a man, and all these other snacks I've been talking about, the ones that I've not managed to find yet, I'll definitely include it in a sequel to this video. Unless I just um, choose to do maybe another Coca-Cola alternative, like I did last year with Thomas Keller, Christian Pie, and Ali and Jones. Or it was just any alternative in general, Coca-Cola, Sprite, Fanta, whatever. We'll see. We'll see what goes down. Feel free to share with your pals if they don't want to miss out. Um, if they are Dr. Pepper fans, they probably want to miss out on this. I know my guy Tommy is a big Dr. Pepper fan, so he wouldn't want to miss out on this. But unfortunately, um, I will say this. Um, I appreciate you as all I appreciate you as always, Tommy. Hope you, I do hope you enjoy this video, of course, and until the weather gets better, I'm obviously not going to film out there. The weather has been super slippery out there. It's, it's just wet and it's muddy and I don't want to wear my new nice clothes and I don't want to um, slip or drop. I don't want to get these items at risk because if it rains, like, like it did that day when I made that Barks root beer and cream soda video with Alex, I don't want to risk that again. It was, a, it was kind of unfortunate that as soon as we concluded the video... So until the weather gets a bit better later this year, maybe around springtime, then I'll get back out there and I'll bring the other guys along with me. So if you guys want to stay up to date with it all, I will include as many Dr. Pepper snacks as I can in future. Then you can hit subscribe, the notification bell, and follow me or the rest of my team on social media. Their usernames are, of course, in the more busy videos or the ones they at least take part in. I know Joel Pitt has rec um, tried some Dr. Pepper cans with me. I know that Alex and Tommy have tried it with me and various and some in my spare time, in my personal time when I'm not filming obviously on these videos, if I'm out for a day out with my friends, they have tried some of these snacks. So yeah, 
Um, if you want to follow them on social media as well, um, and I, I will hook them up with some snacks, and follow either one of us on social media, we should keep you up to do all the good stuff. So as always guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and hope to see you soon. Peace out.